Nancy, let's go back to uh, Three Men and the Baby. Mm -hmm. Now, a huge hit. That must have been uh, a real blessing for you. But was that partly a curse, too? Because how many people left that theater thinking you were an English actress? Uh, well, I'm finding out a lot of people, and, and, and uh, more of a blessing, I think. It's, it's a huge compliment to me for people to think New York-born Queens actress <laughs> is English. So that was a, that was a great thing. And also, uh, I was very surprised that it was as big a hit as it was. And um, to be in a hit movie in Hollywood is, is definitely a blessing. So. Now, I was talking to someone about uh, Air America. Mm -hmm. And I said, well, Nancy Travis was in that. And they said, was she? Was she? Who was she? I don't remember her in that. Yes, running through the jungle with all yeah. those children. Yeah, no. that's her way back <laughs> in the... <laughs> now, now you, I think you had fairly high billing in that film. Mm -hmm. But uh, what happened exactly with that film? What are your feelings about that whole experience? Um, well, uh, for me, that film was was largely an opportunity to go to Thailand. I mean, I it, <laughs> so I said, sure, sign me up. Um, it, it was, I mean, it was a fun experience. Uh, still, the beginning of my career, and just wanting to keep working, and uh, it was great being in Thailand. Great. Now, uh, with the vanishing, is I've always found it fascinating that foreign films. For some reason, they, a lot of people's lists, they get much more acclaim. Mm -hmm. So if the film is remade, are, are you worried that the people who have their nose up in the air who like the original will mm -hmm. automatically dismiss the, uh, the, the reworking of the remake as, well, not as good? Oh, is it? Uh, am I worried about it? Um, no, it doesn't worry me. I mean, I think uh, whenever there's, there's a remake or there's two films, there's going to be comparisons and preferences. Um, which is good. It, it, uh, I would love it if, if somebody at a dinner party had a conversation about the two films. It would be wonderful. Anything that uh, provokes thought and conversation is, uh, is great. Now, it's being promoted as a thriller, but mm -hmm. I found it to be a, a very romantic movie, too. Do you think, uh, right. do you feel the same way? Or? Um, I, gosh, I, th I think the movie operates on so many different levels. I think ultimately it's a thriller. I mean, I think if you have to say, categorize it, that's where it would go. But um, I think uh, it's a film about a lot of different things, loss, obsession, love, life, death. Now, your character in this is kind of a take charge, kick butt type of, uh, type of woman. Mm -hmm. Now, did playing that type of uh, character appeal to you? Very much so, yeah, yeah. I, I liked uh, the simplicity of, of the character and the fact that um, She's not a person bogged down with too much thinking, which uh, for an actress is a good challenge. You want to just play somebody who operates on impulse and instinct and, um, and emotion, and that's largely, largely what Rita is. And, uh, and that was great. It was a great counter to the two male characters as well. Now, the movie deals with a lot of um, I think uncomfortable uh, uh, situations. I, I, the audience was just deathly quiet during the first part of the film, the kidnapping. Mm. I think mm -hmm. it's everyone's worst nightmare. Oh. Uh, did, um, did, have you ever had a frightening experience like that or uh, the potential for something like that to happen mm. to you or to someone that you know? Uh, no, thank God, not that I can recall. Um, uh, but it is definitely, I think, I think it's more, I mean, it's definitely something that you fear that's in your consciousness, especially if you have uh, children or, uh, you know, who, who could, be by your side one minute, and the next minute you don't know where they are. Um. I'm doing a feature on uh, actors on location and what they do to make themselves comfortable. Mm -hmm. uh, Yul Brynner said one time what he does when he goes on tour, uh, when, when I went on tour, is he took paintings from his home so he could hang them on, mm -hmm. the, uh, on the walls of the hotel. What kind of things do you ask for when you go on location to make yourself feel more at home? Uh, decent hotel room. <laughs> um, what, what I've been doing is I've been bringing my dogs with me. I have two dogs, and uh, I like to, to try and rent a house where I go and bring the dogs and, and have, uh, try and see it as a vacation, try and take advantage of the place and, and have a life, yeah. Now, every actor uh, during their career, they'll get a lot of advice from friends, family, uh, just about everyone. Some mm -hmm. of the advice is good, some mm -hmm. of the advice is bad. What has been some of the worst advice anyone ever gave you, not necessarily advice that you followed, but mm -hmm. that you were given? Gosh, usually the worst advice comes from agents. It's usually uh, agents who are trying to figure out how to sell you when they start saying, you know what, cut your hair, you know, don't dress like that, you know, get, wear more makeup, don't wear any makeup. And, and usually you have to uh, discard all of that and just say, okay, w what do I think is best? 
Follow your own instincts. As soon as you start not trusting your instincts, you're in trouble.